All right, guys, so many of you have been asking to see the setup, and so here it is. Uh, basically, this is where I do my work from. This is the setup. This is my laptop over here. This is a 17-incher, if I recall correctly. Uh, this right here, this is a 40-incher. This is where I stream stuff while I edit. And over here, we have the 55-inch monitor TV thing. Uh, this is my computer and specs for all of this stuff will be in the video description below. Uh, this is the mic, the uh, Thrustmaster Warthog throttle. Uh, over here we have the Thrustmaster pedals. Right? I forgot to mention this in the last videos. You guys wanted to know if I was using pedals. And uh, here we have the Thrustmaster F18 stick with the A10 base. This is a Razer chair, as you can see here. Uh, I've had many chairs in the past, and I don't want to promote their brand because they weren't very good. But this Razer chair, I've been very impressed with it so far. I've had it for about a year. Very good quality product. Um, so I can definitely vouch for this chair being very good. Um, everything's pretty high quality on this, and I have no complaints. Uh, this right here, this is the these are Bose headphones, I believe that's how you pronounce that. Uh, here we have the Pimax 8KX. Uh, you guys have seen me use that for some of the IL-2 videos that we did back in the day. But there you go, I mean that pretty much sums it up. This is uh, this is pretty much the setup here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you guys also don't have to do this if you want to get into DCS. I just want to make that clear. You don't have to get three monitors and a laptop and this is just, you know, I'm editing and I do a lot in here, so I need a different setup. Now, speaking of products that maybe aren't too expensive, you can see we have, these are some of the earlier sticks I started with. This is the F18 Thrustmaster, like I told you guys earlier. This is the one I use right now. But you don't have to get anything super expensive. You can use something entry level before you get into DCS. Once you're committed, then you can go commit to buying something that's a little bit more expensive, a little bit higher quality. Uh, this is the A10 stick. This is the Thrustmaster T16M. This is the one I started out with, actually. And then I got this one. This is the Thrustmaster A10 stick. And then I got the F18 one, and then Thrustmaster sent me this one, the Hotas one. If you're wondering, this is not sponsored by Thrustmaster. <laughs> Thrustmaster did not ask me to do this. Uh, just showing off this stuff, because this is what I found to be the best bang for your buck products for the most part. And like I said, I use Thrustmaster for the most part. Uh, the T16000 and the Thrustmaster one, these are your best, in my opinion, entry level sticks. Uh, I've had several people who use these who are very good in DCS. They're, they're by no means a limiting factor with how good you can be compared to the A10 and the F18 stick. And if you noticed, I have the Xbox controller here and I use that for the Apache Copilot Gunner seat. It works really well for that. So if you're wondering why there's an Xbox controller here, that's basically the reason why. That's the one thing I use it for. I don't use it for anything else, but that's just me. Um, and also, uh, before anybody asks, we have the blacked out curtains. That's obviously for track IR. If any light comes in, it messes with track IR. Um, over here, these little, these are the VR base, uh, base stations. They're for the degrees of movement, basically. And right there is the track IR. That's my track IR sensor. And, you know, have a look at this. You see the, I was talking a little while ago about how 55 inches, the TV here right there is about 55 inches. And it's, if it goes any taller, that track IR sensor has difficulty seeing you sitting at this chair here. Uh, at least that's been my experience. So keep that in mind if you want anything that's any bigger than 55 inches. Keep, the, keep in mind that the track IR sensor has to be low enough to actually see the thing on your head, right? And uh, I always forget to talk about the mic and everyone's always asking. Uh, we're using the Audio-Technica AT2020 as my microphone here. And you know, it's got all the, you know, pop filters and the wind socks and the shock absorber. It's got all that stuff on it, uh, the whole shebang. And then this little uh, extender arm, whatever, that holds the mic. Uh, I found, I've had quite a few of these and I think Rode is the best one. They have the highest quality one I've used yet. All the other ones are kind of garbage and uh, they don't have good springs inside them. And this one's just really nice, really clean and pretty high quality build. I've had this for about two years now and haven't felt the need to get a replacement. And I go through a lot of these weird little products and I have to buy, you know, crappy ones. And by now I finally got the good ones figured out. So I want to make sure I highlight the good ones if you guys want to get your own. Speaking of good products, I got the Fox mounts. 
that are actually holding up my Thrustmaster stick and throttle. Uh, shout out to Fox Mounts, one of the best mounts. I've had these for, I think, more than two years now, and they've never had any problems. A very high quality product. Uh, if these ever break, which I don't think they ever will, but I'll go back and I'll get another pair. Okay guys, so that pretty much sums it up. That's my setup. I want to just once again reiterate the fact that you don't need something like this to get into DCS. You really just need a computer, a basic entry level stick, and some sort of head tracker, and you're good to go. Uh, a lot of this stuff is because I do a lot of editing. I have a lot of other work I got to do on the computer when it comes to content creation. So I have a little bit, you know, I have stuff that you, you guys really won't need. Like I've said, I've gone through a lot of products over the years now and, you know, I've tried to highlight the best ones there in the video. My current setup is the best one I've, you know, ever had. So everything I currently have, I'm really happy with. So, I, you know, I just want to highlight that stuff for you guys. Before I wrap this video up, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel so far. We're very close to 500,000 subscribers. So I just want to say a big thank you to all of you for your support. I hope those of you who are asking to see the setup video, the set, the setup that I have, I hope this video, uh, you know, quells your curiosity, if you will. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.